Hi, I'm Dawn Hawkins from Morality and Media. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk specifically about how pornography is harming our children. Uh, this is a very broad topic, and we could probably talk about it for hours. There's a lot of research now about this, but uh, in just a few minutes, here are some of the really significant ways pornography is, is touching our kids. Um, so kids by age 11 in the United States are getting a regular diet of hardcore pornography. They're, they've already been exposed by age 11. Um, I can remember I was nine years old, and that was a while ago when I first saw pornography, and it was in a family member's home, of all places. Um, I recently heard from a mother who called. She was very distraught, didn't know what to do. She called and told me that her six-year-old daughter, she couldn't keep her away from pornography. She was finding pornography wherever she could. She was finding it on the computer, even though there was a filter. She was finding it on television, uh, on her dad's phone. They found pictures that were torn out of magazines in her bedroom. I mean, she's only six years old, and it turns out that they, they found out later that the girl was, was being molested by someone and pornography was being used. Uh, and and she, was, she couldn't stop looking at it. Um, and again, I, I heard from another family, uh, from two families actually, both sides kind of. The a three-year-old little boy was molested by his 14-year-old uncle. And I mean, this has just torn both families apart. Uh, the three-year-old is in therapy and, you know, hopefully he'll be able to move forward without without too, too many bad consequences in his life, but he'll have to work through some really hard things. The 14-year-old, as it turns out, was also molested when he was younger by somebody who exposed him to pornography and used pornography throughout the abuse. Uh, they found hundreds of images on the 14-year-old's Xbox and computer and in his bedroom, in his closet, and under his bed. Uh, and now, after this happened, the 14-year-old had to go to a group home, is in therapy, Family is torn apart. Um, there's a lot of anger, a lot of hurt. Uh, of course, I mean the lives of these two kids have been have been hurt. This is because we're creating ch uh, children. We're creating porn addicts out of children. We're allowing children to get regular access to pornography, and they're becoming addicted. This is um, leading to so much abuse, so much sexual abuse, but also it's affecting the way that they view the opposite sex. Uh, they objectify one another more. They're engaging in sexual acts at much earlier ages. And because of what they're viewing in pornography, they think that violent and, and specifically degrading types of sex acts are normal. They think that it's not okay to say no and that if someone does say no, it really means yes because that's how it is in porn. Um, they think that it's supposed to be violent. I just read a, a study, I think it was from Boston College that came out with it, but I can't remember the specific percentage, but the point was that increasingly young girls, teenage girls, are participating in group sex gangbangs, and that's because that's popular in pornography. Um, but then I also wanted to highlight the links between adult pornography and child pornography. We have these brochures that uh, we're distributing. I invite you to, you can order some from us, we'll send you a bunch, uh, or you can download the electronic file from our website. You could just contact us at pornharms.com and we'll make sure you get it. But this specifically talks about the links between adult pornography and child pornography. It was an article we wrote for Princeton's of Witherspoon Institute, and we just turned it into a brochure with their permission. Um, it seems like people, everybody, no matter who you ask, they care about child pornography and they think something should be done. But right now, cases of child pornography are overwhelming our courts. Why is that? I mean, why is there, are there so many more cases today than there were 20 years ago? That is because for 20 years now, people have been getting uh, unfiltered, anonymous access to hardcore pornography through the internet. Um, People are finding that they're no longer satisfied with the same kinds of images, so they deviate to harder materials. Uh, when one understands 
really what's happening to your brain when you're regularly viewing pornography and uh, and when you're addicted to pornography I think it would be easy it'll be easier to understand the links between adult and child pornography but right now there's a lot of science ta that talks about and proves that pornography negatively affects your brain um, Norman Dodge is, is somebody that has written, Dr. Norman Dodge, he's written a number of books and research articles, and I find him to be a little bit easier for me to understand since I'm not a science person. But he, he explains that when you're viewing por pornography, dopamine is released, which gets you really, really excited. The problem is that endorphins are never released when you're looking at porn, which endorphins help you feel satisfied. They help you realize that Okay, you're done. You don't need you don't need any more. When when someone is about to have sex with their husband or wife, for example, dopamine is released. It gets them in the mood. It gets them excited. Uh, and then once they have sex, endorphins are released to help them feel satisfied. And that's why you don't keep having sex for hours on end. Um, but with pornography, only dopamine is released. You just want more and more and more. People have to spend hours and hours online looking at images. They find that they can't be satisfied. They look for a harder, harder types of pornography in order to find that satisfaction. And some people will deviate to por child pornography. I am not saying that everybody who looks at adult pornography or struggles with adult pornography is going to become a child porn addict, but many are. Um, and so it's important to, to realize that we will never solve the problem of child pornography unless we do something about adult pornography. Um, another, another problem with pornography too is that kids are seeing this, they're being exposed to it. So when predators approach them or even other children approach them wanting to take advantage of them, these kids think it's okay because they this is what they've seen happens in pornography. Um, and so predators use that to their advantage. They use pornography to groom the kids into thinking that this type of behavior is okay and they should allow it. And then kids aren't seeking help. Uh, you know, this is another tactic that pimps and johns use when trafficking women and children too. They use pornography to groom them. Uh, it's also just one other thing is a lot of perps are using um, their victims. While they're victimizing them, they're filming and photographing it, and then they're sharing that uh, online, and those images are just being shared all over the place. So these kids aren't only being object or being abused, you know, this one time. It's over and over and over again. Unfortunately, this breaks my heart. I, I couldn't believe it, and I, I, I'm still very emotional about it, but... Um, not that long ago, we shared an article, an expose about child pornography on Facebook written by World Net Daily, WND. And um, in this expose, the journalist found images of children. And I just want to say there is so much pornography on Facebook, and a lot of it is child pornography. Uh, on our Facebook page of more than 100,000 people, every day there is Pornography, people post pornography and child pornography that we have to continually uh, remove and make sure it's and report it. So this is a big problem on Facebook. And the journalist did an expose on this and she used some of the images she found and blurred them out. But she put them in her article to show people. And we sent the article to people on our email list just to let them know that this was happening on Facebook. And a mother wrote me back uh, and told me that one of those images was of her daughter. Um, I mean, it, it happened to her daughter six years ago when she was 12 years old and it's still happening to her again and again because those images you just can't get back. Um, so I, I have to close. I've already gone over my time limit, but I just want to highlight that pornography is hurting our kids and we need to do something about it. I encourage you to learn more about this topic. Go to our website, pornharms.com, and you'll see links for research. Um, we have almost 1,000 research articles, news and opinion articles, divided by category. One of those categories is how it affects children, and another is how it affects teenagers. Um, I encourage you to read some of those articles and educate yourself so that you can help other, others understand why they need to care about this. Thank you.